Hey, this is Jeff from Hidden Twisties, where I ride, rate, and review motorcycle roads. This week, I'm not riding a road. I'm driving one. We were on vacation in Arizona, and I took my wife's Audi TT on a scouting trip. Let's go for a drive. This week's going to be a little bit different. I didn't have the bike last week because I had to order some new tires. Besides that, I was on vacation in Arizona. My wife and I went to Sedona to see the sights mainly, but I did scout out several roads that we're going to see in the future videos. I want to talk about five roads this week all around the Sedona area or within reach. One of them is Highway 89 from Wilhoit to Prescott, Arizona. The other is Highway 89A from Prescott Valley to Jerome, Arizona. Also 89A from Sedona to Flagstaff. And then north of Flagstaff, off of 89, is a loop road 395 that goes from the Wupatki National Monument back around to the Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument. They both, both ends of that road tie into Highway 89, but it's a really nice loop. And then finally, there's Highway 64, which is just around that area from Cameron, Arizona, to the Grand Canyon National Park. Totally worth the ride, and you'll really regret it if you don't take it. From Wilhoit to Prescott, it's about 16 miles or 30 minutes. It's a really beautiful road that climbs up into the mountains and back down again to the other side. It's curvy all the way through. There's nowhere to pass. So pull over and wait for traffic to clear so you can have a little bit of fun. Trust me, you don't want to go too fast. There are a lot of animals, deer, antelope, even elk in the area. The same applies to 89A between Jerome and Prescott Valley. You'll see that one on the video today. It's about 22 miles or about 30 minutes worth of driving. Also, nowhere to pass. Just pull over and wait for a clearing so you can have a little bit of fun. If not, you're going to be stuck behind a minivan or a big truck. The Sedona to Flagstaff drive on 89A is about 30 miles. It takes about 50 minutes to do it. You climb about 4,000 feet between the two towns. It's beautiful. There are a lot of animals out there. Be careful. There are a couple small villages along the way also and some traffic. Again, it's a main thoroughfare between the two towns. From Flagstaff to the Sunset Canyon National Monument and then on to the Wupatki National Monument is about 56 miles. It'll take about an hour and 15 minutes. There's not much out there though, so plan on it being a round trip unless you go on to the Grand Canyon. From Cameron to the Grand Canyon is about 55 miles. It'll take a little over an hour to do it. Most of the ride are big sweepers across the Navajo Nation. Once you get inside the park, which you do have to pay for, the curves get a lot tighter till you meet up with the main road that comes from the southern entrance. Highway 89 and 89A are main thoroughfares between Flagstaff and Sedona, between Sedona and Jerome, and on through Prescott and Wilhoit. You're going to see people in pickup trucks that are just doing their job. You're going to see tourists out there. Just take it easy and pull over and wait for a gap so you can get some open road ahead of you. Highway 64 from Cameron to the Grand Canyon is almost empty by contrast. It is across the Navajo Nation, so be aware that it is patrolled by the Navajo police. But I didn't see anybody out there. And it's wide open road and it's nice. It's not super twisty, but it's curvy and there's a lot of hills and mountains to cross. Finally, 395, also an empty road. You might see some tourism during the summer when people are going to the monuments, but for the most part, there's hardly anyone on this road. It's patrolled by the National Park Services. I have no idea what their tolerance is for speeding. The weather in this region is cool in the morning regardless of where you're at, but in Sedona, Jerome, and the Prescott area, you'll find that the afternoon temperatures are pretty moderate year-round. It's a pretty good riding area and there's not much snow in the lower sections. However, when you get to Flagstaff or up above the Mogollon Rim, it is very cold in the winter and they get snow in the winter. 
So plan on that being a late spring to early fall ride. Even then in the summer it's cool in the morning. There's plenty of gas in all of the towns that I mentioned, even out by the national park. Don't worry about that, there are convenience stores littered around the area. The only place it gets kind of open is on 64 from Cameron to the Grand Canyon. You might want to make sure you have a full tank for that ride. For food, I highly recommend Fat Olives Pizza in Flagstaff. These people are raided by the Italian government to make pizza. It's crazy, but it is delicious. It's really good. They do a great job. Completely worth it, and it's not even expensive. I didn't get a chance to explore the hotels in the area. We stayed at a resort. I'm not going to mention the name, but I wouldn't do it again. It's expensive, and it was like something from the 70s. Flagstaff is a fairly large town. It's, a, I think, 80,000 people, something like that. There are several motorcycle shops in the area. I'll put them up here on the screen. I didn't go to any of them. They all seem to get good ratings, but I, it's fair to say that you could have your bike serviced or some sort of maintenance done while you're there. Similarly, Sedona has several shops. They seem to be more local shops, but there's a couple of Harley shops around and some areas you can get your bike taken care of. I normally just mention the points of interest, maybe show a photo or two, but I had to show a little bit of video of what's out there. The Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument is just incredible. The, the dirt is black, almost black, and the trees growing out of it, it's, it's surreal. This is a beautiful place to visit. And right down the road on 395 is the Wupatki National Monument. It's a Native American ruin from about the 1300s. It's extremely impressive. You have to stop in if you go there. Finally, don't miss the Grand Canyon. It's not my first time going there, but it's my first time to get some good footage of it. This place is just incredible. No matter how many times you go there, you walk to the edge of that thing and you're in awe of the experience. If you're up in that area and you don't go to the Grand Canyon, you really miss something. Sorry it's in a car, but it was worth the experience just to figure out what roads I'm going to review when I get back up to the area, which should be this summer. But for now, here's Highway 89A between Prescott Valley and Jerome, Arizona.
I found this road to be really, really nice. The surface was pretty good. It wasn't too bumpy. There were no potholes or anything. It's not perfect by any means, but the scenery is incredible. The curves are nice. There's some tight ones up there. It's a really good place to go. I can't wait to get back up there on the bike. However, I'm not going to rate it this week. I'm not going to rate it until I do a motorcycle ride on it and the other roads I mentioned. Thanks for watching Hidden Twisties. I really appreciate your time.
If you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. It would really help me out if you rang the little bell down there to get notified when new videos come out. That's how YouTube monitors and keeps track of us. Thanks again. See you next week.